what I'm going to do today is give you a quick demonstration on how you install WordPress uh, plugins. It's dead, dead easy. Uh, anybody can do it, uh, but it's not just that, it's knowing which ones to install, how to set them up, and so on. So, I'm going to give you a list of maybe five plugins that are worthwhile installing that are going to help you generate more traffic for your website. Uh, the first one is the all in one SEO pack that's installed already on this computer. Um, the Google XML sitemaps, that's another must. Um, there's lots and lots of different options available. What I'm going to do is install uh, something called Tweet Me Me, uh, which allows people to tweet your blog posts to their users on their accounts, and also uh, a Facebook share option, which is another great way of sharing um, amongst their friends and followers on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, so, first of all, left hand side, just click on, uh, you've got plugins on the left hand side, underneath there. If you click on add new, it's going to search for tweet me me, and there you go, tweet me me button. Always check out these ratings. Uh, if a plugin doesn't have a rating, the chances are nobody's downloaded it or they've downloaded and it perhaps doesn't work with that specific version of WordPress. Click on install. Install now. Activate the plugin. And there you go, as easy as that. Now on the left hand side you've got a tweet me me option. And if you click on that, it gives you the options within the plugin so you can display the tweet me button on pages on the front of pages and so on you can decide whereabouts on the page position wise you want it and you can obviously change that to your own personal preference I prefer the um, the smaller more cap compact version of the widget I feel the, the larger version does look rather tacky at times on some websites and you tend to find more and more blogs are generating more and more uh, follow buttons and I think it's just becoming more and more crowded and I think it is starting to look slightly tacky on some websites so I think sometimes if you do stick to the minimalistic look keep it compact I think you're, you're adding to the look of your uh, blog or website right so the, the final one I'm going to install is Facebook share and now this is FB share. That's the name of the plugin. And FB share install. Install now. Activate the plugin. And now if we click on the left hand side and click on settings, we've got the FB share options. And again you can see the different options here. You can see you can choose a smaller button as opposed to a large one uh, you can decide whether you want to display it on all the pages and so on and so forth uh, that's about it those same principles apply to all the other plugins what I suggest is have a look around online search for the top 10 top 5 plugins for whatever it is you're looking for and make the most of your WordPress blogs